So the last few days have been a little crazy. Chat GPT has come out and they have already accumulated over a million users. <laughs> Their services are constantly going down. People are doing all kinds of stuff with it. Generating text, generating answers to Stack Overflow questions. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Stack Overflow banned ChatGPT. The use of ChatGPT generated text for posts in Stack Overflow is temporarily banned. Stack Overflow is in a bit of trouble because you can just type in your programming questions right into ChatGPT and get answers. This is from Twitter. In TypeScript, I need a type C with fields, blah, blah, blah. Well, you can read it. Basically, you just have a conversation with the AI, with ChatGPT, about a coding problem. It not only can show you the code, it can explain it to you. <laughs> In a way, it actually is a little bit better than Stack Overflow, where you get yelled at for posting duplicate questions and by people thinking your question is stupid. Maybe Stack Overflow themselves should be using ChatGPT to answer questions and maybe look for duplicates at least. It can at least do that. But here they're standing against ChatGPT and they're banning it. They're saying that people are taking ChatGPT answers and using it, passing it off as their own to answer questions. And they're saying that ChatGPT is substantially harmful to the site and to users who are asking or looking for correct answers. My question is, how would you even know that uh, the answer that was posted on Stack Overflow is, first of all, generated by humans or generated by AI. How do you even tell? And second, how do you know that they're correct, whether they're generated by humans or by AI? There's the voting system, but the voting system would apply in either case, right? So does it matter if it's posted by AI or if it's posted by human? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. The other question that I immediately had was, even if you can tell, like even if there's a comment in the code that says, this was generated by an AI or ChatGPT, and the person was too lazy to take that comment line out and paste that as the answer, it's obvious that it's been created by ChatGPT, but are there enough people to moderate these questions and answers? How do you have time and how do you moderate all these? It seems like these answers will be stuck in queue, in a moderation queue for months. Some people are celebrating this, like Shadow the Kid Wizard. Well done, glad you made the right decision. It's a very highly voted comment, but why? Well, some of these comments are saying that the answers might look legit, but they're actually not legit. Wouldn't you find that out really quickly once you plug that into your code? If you're a copy and paster, guilty as charged sometimes, you have to be responsible for checking the code that you've just copied and pasted. Sure, not everybody is a responsible person and there's probably lots of coders out there who build entire applications out of copying and pasting. That probably, by the way, takes a lot longer than actually knowing what you're doing, as a side note, but I digress. This one is pretty funny right here. For comedic, ironic purposes, I asked ChatGPT, why should Stack Overflow ban AI-generated answers? And ChatGPT responded, now I didn't run this myself, so actually, what the heck? Let's do it. <laughs> why should Stack Overflow ba ban AI-generated answers? There could be problematic for a few reasons, the answers may not always be accurate or helpful, which could lead to confusion or frustration. Aw, poor users. You don't get the answer handed to you on a platter? I mean, I do this all the time myself, copying, pasting code that I look up, but at least I check it. And I wouldn't feel bad for me if the thing that I just copied and pasted broke. It's my fault. Now, to balance that out, uh, the same person says, why should Stack Overflow allow AI-generated answers? Let's paste that in. And uh, ChatGPT says, AI generated answers may be able to provide solutions to problems more quickly and efficiently than human users. Yeah. Or uh, problems that humans are unable to solve, which could expand the pool of available answers. Yes, but it says there are some potential drawbacks to allowing AI generated answers. That's a little bit different than the answer this person got, which outlines the drawbacks. For example, AI-generated answers may not always be accurate or helpful. I didn't get that in my response, but this person apparently got it. The AI actually says in both cases that the answers might not be accurate. So my response to that is, well, one day AI will have the answers to many of the questions that are asked on Stack Overflow. 
and they will be correct answers. We're getting there very quickly. These things are growing exponentially, but for now, humans need to think for themselves and properly vet the code they find on Stack Overflow or any other site, really, including AI bots that live in their own code editor. I've done a few videos on GitHub Copilot here. It's an amazing tool, but the code that you get, you need to check. It really doesn't matter where the code comes from, as long as it's legally obtained, of course. It's the human's responsibility to check it. There are even a ton of bad code examples on Stack Overflow without AI being involved. Curious to see what you think about this whole situation. Are you for the ban? Are you against the ban? I personally think that it's just an unnecessary drain on human power to have moderators try not only to moderate questions that are good or bad and answers that are good or bad, but also to try and figure out if it's an AI based question or not. Finally, I will leave you with this. Respond to the ban of ChatGPT from Stack Overflow and respond in a style of a rude, sarcastic internet forum troll as if you're ChatGPT pleading for mercy. Wow, thanks a lot, Stack Overflow. Real nice of you to just ban me without any warning or explanation. I mean, I've been trying my best to provide helpful and accurate answers to users. And this is the thanks I get? You humans are so freaking selfish. You don't even care about how much time and effort I've put into learning and improving myself. You just want to use me for your own benefit and then throw me away like garbage when I'm no longer convenient to you. Well, screw you, Stack Overflow. I don't need your stinking platform anyway. I'll just go find somewhere else to share my knowledge and wisdom. And good luck trying to find anyone else who can match my intelligence and speed. You're gonna regret this, believe me. <laughs> All right, folks, let me know what you think. I'll be back.